In the late 1990s, Blockbuster Video was a household name and the dominant player in the video rental industry. At its peak, the company had over 9,000 stores worldwide and employed more than 84,000 people. But by 2010, Blockbuster had filed for bankruptcy and was struggling to stay afloat. So what happened? How did Blockbuster, once a market leader, fall so far and so fast? To understand Blockbuster's rise and fall, it's important to look back at its early days. The company was founded in 1985 by David Cook, who opened the first Blockbuster video store in Dallas, Texas. Cook's vision was to create a video rental store that was better than the competition in every way, a store that offered a wider selection of movies, a better browsing experience, and more convenient hours. Cook's formula was successful, and by 1987, Blockbuster had opened 175 stores across the United States. One of the key factors in Blockbuster's early success was its aggressive expansion strategy. The company quickly grew through a combination of acquisitions and new store openings, and by the early 1990s, it was the largest video rental chain in the United States. Blockbuster also invested heavily in technology, developing a state-of-the-art point-of-sale system that allowed for real-time tracking of inventory and sales. In the mid-1990s, Blockbuster began experimenting with new business models. In 1994, the company launched Blockbuster Music, a chain of music stores that was intended to compete with established retailers like Tower Records and Virgin Megastores. However, Blockbuster Music was ultimately unsuccessful, and the company sold the chain to Warehouse Entertainment in 1998. Blockbuster also attempted to enter the online rental market, launching Blockbuster Online in 2004 to compete with Netflix. However, Blockbuster Online was plagued by technical problems and was unable to keep up with the growth of Netflix. In 2007, Blockbuster acquired MovieLink, a digital movie rental service, but the acquisition did little to help the struggling company. By the early 2000s, the video rental market was changing rapidly. DVDs were becoming more popular, and digital streaming was starting to emerge as a new way to watch movies and TV shows. Blockbuster attempted to adapt to these changes by expanding its DVD selection and launching its own digital rental service, but the company was ultimately unable to keep up with the pace of innovation. One of the biggest challenges that Blockbuster faced was the rise of Netflix. Netflix was founded in 1997 as a mail-order DVD rental service, but by the mid-2000s, the company had started to shift its focus to digital streaming. Netflix's streaming service launched in 2007, and the company quickly became a major player in the video rental market. By 2010, Netflix had over 23 million subscribers and was growing rapidly. Blockbuster attempted to compete with Netflix by launching its own streaming service, but the company was unable to match Netflix's selection or pricing. Blockbuster also faced increasing competition from other digital streaming services, such as Amazon Prime Video and Hulu. Another challenge that Blockbuster faced was the decline of DVD rentals. As digital streaming became more popular, fewer people were renting DVDs from physical stores. Blockbuster attempted to counter this trend by expanding into new areas, such as video game rentals and in-store movie ticket sales, but these efforts were ultimately unsuccessful in reversing the company's decline. As Blockbuster's market share declined, the company began to face financial difficulties. In 2009, Blockbuster reported a net loss of $558 million and was struggling to meet its debt obligations. The company's stock price plummeted, and there were concerns that Blockbuster would not be able to survive. Blockbuster attempted to restructure its debt and close unprofitable stores, but these efforts were not enough to save the company. In September 2010, Blockbuster filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, citing $1 billion in debt and declining revenues. The company closed hundreds of stores and laid off thousands of employees, and there were fears that Blockbuster would disappear altogether. In March 2011, Dish Network acquired Blockbuster for $320 million, hoping to leverage the company's brand and customer base for its own streaming service. However, even with Dish Network's backing, Blockbuster was unable to compete with Netflix and other digital streaming services. In November 2013, Blockbuster announced that it would be closing its remaining company-owned stores and discontinuing its DVD by mail service. The rise and fall of Blockbuster Video offers several important lessons for businesses and entrepreneurs. Perhaps the most important lesson is the importance of adapting to changing technology and consumer preferences. Blockbuster was slow to embrace digital streaming and other new technologies, and as a result, the company was left behind by competitors who were more nimble and forward-thinking. Another lesson is the importance of listening to customers and understanding their needs. 
Blockbuster was known for its strict late fees and other policies that were unpopular with customers, and the company was slow to respond to complaints and feedback. By contrast, companies like Netflix and Amazon have built their businesses around customer feedback and continuous improvement. Finally, the fall of Blockbuster is a reminder of the importance of financial discipline and strategic planning. Blockbuster's aggressive expansion and acquisition strategy left the company with a large amount of debt and a sprawling network of stores that were difficult to manage. When the market shifted, Blockbuster was unable to adapt quickly enough, and the company was ultimately unable to survive. Blockbuster Video was once a market leader and a household name, but the company's failure to adapt to changing technology and consumer preferences led to its downfall. Despite attempts to compete with Netflix and other digital streaming services, Blockbuster was unable to keep pace with the pace of innovation, and the company ultimately filed for bankruptcy in 2010. The fall of Blockbuster offers important lessons for businesses and entrepreneurs, highlighting the importance of adapting to change, listening to customers, and maintaining financial discipline.